Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to easily make a 3D mask transition effect in After Effects, let's begin. Duplicate the first clip and rename it to Roto Brush. Then select the Roto Brush tool and double click on that layer. Make sure to smoothly rotoscope only the car in the foreground. Once you're done, click the freeze button. After it finishes freezing, close the rotoscoping window. Now move the second clip below your first layers so they overlap like this. Scroll to the point where the second clip starts, then select the first clip, the one without the roto brush effect and press T on your keyboard to reveal its opacity and click on opacity stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now scroll forward a bit, just before the layer ends, and change the opacity to 0%. Let me quickly show you what that looks like. And that's the first step done. To create the actual transition from one clip to another, we'll need a camera layer and a null layer. So let's start by creating the camera layer first. Make sure type is set to two node camera and the preset is 35 millimeters and then hit OK. Move the camera layer above the roto brush layer, then create a new null layer. Use the pick whip from the camera layer to parent it to the null layer. When you parent the camera to a null, anything you do to the null, like move it or rotate, it will also happen to the camera. It just makes moving the camera way easier. Just make sure to enable 3D on all layers we need to animate. Now scroll to the very start of the bottom clip, or where the first opacity keyframe is and then select the null layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal the position. Click the stopwatch next to position to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the end of the first clips and increase C position to bring the videos closer to the camera. Then select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Next go to the graph editor, right click here, select edit speed graph and make a smooth curve. Let's check the animation and the smoothness. Looks fine to me. Now make sure to select the roto brush layer and then scroll to opacity second keyframe right here. With the roto brush layer still selected, press P on your keyboard to reveal position, then click the stopwatch next to it to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the very end of the layer and drag the Y position all the way down until the layer disappears from view. Then select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, and create a smooth curve in the graph editor. Let's check it one more time. It's already looking good, and we're almost done, just a few more steps to go. First I will fix the second clip, cause it's too scaled. Select the very bottom layer, or the second clip and press P on a keyboard. Decrease the Z position until it looks right and fixed. It looks better to me, but now you might see some black edges since we zoomed out a bit. To fix that, apply a motion tile effect to the second clip. Check the mirror edges option, then set both the output width and height to 150. Looks nice, but I'm not happy with the edges of the masked layer, so let's fix that for smoother results. Select the roto brush layer, and under the roto brush effect, increase the feather to about 10. Then set reduce chatter to 100% and lower the shift edge a bit to smooth out the edges. That already looks better, but let's also add a simple choker effect. Just increase the choke mat a little, and I think that's enough. Let's also enable motion blur on all layers we were working with and then check the transition. Let's add some shakes now, I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.